So I want to talk to you about lifted increases. So it depends which order you do them in. Um, both of these samples here have been done with two stitches in between. This one has a right lifted increase, two stitches in the left, and this one's the opposite. So a left, two stitches and a right. So this one's quite nice if you're doing a top down gone because if you were looking at it that way, it looks like a single knit column between the two increases. This one gives a slightly wider band. So how to actually create those stitches, what you're doing with a left lifted increase is knitting a stitch into the row below the one on the needle. Um, so you'll get to the point where you need to do um, your increase. So I'm going to do a left lifted increase here. And I'm going to be working into the stitch two stitches below the one on the needle. So I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to work into this one. So I'm going to use my left needle tip and I'm going to pick up that left hand leg from back to front. And then I'm going to insert my right needle into that stitch as sort of if you were going to knit it through the back loop. And then I just knit that stitch. So that's your left lifted increase. For the right lifted increase, you are working into just the, the stitch below the one on the left hand needle. So I'm going to use my right needle tip and pick this up from back to front in the right hand leg of that stitch. Now I want to knit into this normally, so I want to take my right hand needle out and pop it back in knit wise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on my left hand needle. And what I like to do is pop my finger on the stitch there because if you don't, what can happen is you can have a bit of a fight with those two strands. So if you keep your finger on that one, and take your right needle tip out, go in knitwise into that strand and knit it. And that is your right lifted increase. And if I just knit the next stitch so you can see how it knit, sits.